Hey y'all, time for another chit chat video. Girl, I need to hurry up with this chit chat video. Hold on y'all, I'm adjusting my lights. I'm gonna think, shouldn't you do that before you start recording? Yes. Short answer, yes. But I need to hurry up because it's it's about to storm out here. And y'all, where I'm from, you're not supposed to do anything when it's storming. I know some of y'all have heard of that. My big mama was like, uh, sit down, y'all hush up, turn off the TV. No, she would say turn on the TV like, I didn't know that thunder was a, uh, storms were attracted to noise. She would tell me to take off my glasses. I couldn't see. Silly. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm silly. So yeah, we're gonna make this a fairly impromptu, quick uh, video. Hold on, y'all. It's dark in here because it's about to storm. Let me tell you something, y'all. Y'all know I'm silly. I am huffing and puffing because. Oh, y'all gonna be summer ready? Child, let me tell you something. I have not been summer ready for the last five years. Why well, start now? But I still try to work out to keep up the fluffiness. Um, let me back up. This is that old, ooh. I'm gonna make this a real quick chit chat. Ooh, Lord, y'all, this is that old, old Bantu knot. I am serving you Al Sharpton, 1975, when he was fat. Um. But I did want to talk about a few things real quick. I'm going to be detangling my hair. This detangler I have is so extra. I have in, in here everything from the Taleo Wajid, the great detangler. I have, y'all, I'm scared. <laughs> so much, I'm nervous. Um, oil, olive oil, excuse me. Aloe vera plant. Um, coconut vinegar. The only reason why I even bought coconut vinegar is because it was on sale at my local Walmart. Y'all, we may just do one section, do a quick chick chat. Um, yeah, girl, I'm not summer ready, but, oh, this is what I was gonna say. Another YouTuber shared a video which was called Seven Minute Workout Seven Days, and at first I was like, you can't do no workout, and you cannot put up a sweat in seven minutes. Lie, ball face lie, I just did it. And she separates it in, um, this is, uh, the YouTuber did a, she basically did another YouTuber, fitness YouTuber workout regimen, and she's a fitness YouTuber, excuse me. And so she created this one specifically for belly fat. She breaks it up for beginner and advanced. I tried to do the advanced, the first, it's seven moves, one minute, seven minutes, you're supposed to do it in seven days. When I tell you that workout, I'm gonna link it in the cards. I was sweating, by the fifth workout, I was sweating buckets. Cause it's basically a hit. Oh Lord, y'all, that was a lot. Um, so y'all know how we do it. We talk a little bit about what's in these YouTube streets, what I'm watching, home life. So we already know what's going on in the YouTube streets and I really don't want to talk about it cause I'm over it. I'm so sick of hearing about that little boy. Um, and I understand that another video has came out. <sighs> I'm not saying anything. And this is by James Charles. There's been a lot of people that have reacted to that situation and it's unfortunate on both ends in my opinion. Um, I, I will say this, I don't think that Tati created that video with the intentions of him losing, su losing su subscribers, I can't talk. But it happened and it's sad and I think she is regretful about that and I think she's taking down that video. But moving on, yeah, y'all really don't wanna focus on that. Um, I've been seeing these videos, y'all having the person in front of me order my food. Uh-uh, there is no way. First of all, I'm a picky eater. Why would I, and I don't eat a lot of food. I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat pork really that much at all. And it depends on the type of beef. So they've been going to these fast food restaurants and lately I've been seeing kids, but I just saw a video by Be Loves Life and she did it too. There is no way, no way I would do that. But look at that y'all, hold on. That pre-poo is the business. My hair is shedding. I'm in that shedding cycle. You, if you know anything about hair, the hair cycles, you have a cycle of shedding. And right now my hair is shedding, but look at that pre-poo. Oh, that pre-poo is bomb. Oh yes, I will be putting the recipe down below. Let me, let me put the wooden comb through it. Hold on y'all. Oh yes. So, um, are y'all ready for summer? Like I said, uh, first of all, is, does anyone want to have JV for the summertime? Y'all, JV said he cannot wait First of all, he keeps asking me when school is out, and I get it. He says he cannot wait to be home and drive me crazy. Y'all see what I have to deal with? And I know it's dark, I do apologize for the darkness. Um, 
So he will be having camp. He's going to camp and he's taking swim lessons. Y'all, that is a bomb. Can y'all see it? Is it? That is a bomb. Let's do another section. Why well, have you on the line, girl? Let's go on. Let's go to the back. So yeah, um, we have vacation starting next week. We're going back to Texas. I know I'm doing this out of the order. I typically talk about personal stuff at the end, but we we, we yeah. So yeah, y'all. Um, JB said he's ready to come home. So what shows are y'all watching? Look, don't don't tell me that you're watching. Um, what is that? Game of Thrones. I'm not watching that show. I, I'm not. I'm not even interested in watching that stuff. Um. I started back watching Killing Eve and I'm watching Good Girls. I love Good Girls. My husband discovered Christina, Christina Hendricks and he's been getting on my nerves about it. Uh, but that got me thinking, cause I'm watching the show Good Girls and her and her uh, co-worker on the show, oh yes, Manny, they have a thing going on on the show, but y'all, they have some chemistry. And that just got me thinking like, you oftentimes hear Cause these people are kissing on Kim and they're making out and I don't know y'all. I don't know I don't know if I could have someone of my spouse kissing up on somebody like that. And she fine too. No. I mean I'm fine, but no, she fine. Um look at that. Look at that pre poo y'all. Look at that. So we've heard of celebrities who are already in relationships and married and they do these movies and there's chemistry. And so Christina Hendricks and the little Latino guy have legit chemistry. Now she's married and he's married too. He's married to a, uh, um, a sister, but I'm like, they need to watch it cause they kissing and I look, yeah, no. Nah. And like I said, we've heard it before. Um, one of my favorite movies, Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis. Most of us who are into old movies like that are aware that she was actually pregnant in that movie by him. She got pregnant. Marilyn Monroe got pregnant by Tony Curtis, although he said kissing her was like kissing Hitler. Apparently it wasn't, she got her knocked up. She ended up miscarrying the baby, but, and we have Brad and Angelina Jolie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that's how they met. So look, yeah, they, they need to watch it. I know one thing, if I, if I was an actress and I had a scene to do with Denzel, no, that's, that's too cliche. If I had a scene to do with Chadwick Bosman, oh, we would have to redo that scene a couple of times till I get my line. I would purposely mess up my line. My husband is here, I need to say. I would purposely mess up my lines to reshoot with him. Yeah, you can't be, nah, y'all. You can't be kissing up on somebody like that. Uh-uh. Because a kiss is so intimate, you know. No, we ain't doing it. So, y'all, anyway, I see I say I had to say, I'm watching Good Girls, Killing Eve. Um, I'm watching a lot of uh, shows over in Europe. Because y'all know me. I, I like international shows. Watching The Dark, which is based out of Germany. And also watching The Rain, which is a Danish show. A Danish show binge watch both of those they are really good if you if you are into sci-fi so let me back up the dark it's kind of like stranger things the rain is totally different totally different and I like both of those the 100 is back they getting on my nerves I need a plague to come in and wipe them all out now I want to start watching Peaky Blinders and it's so funny I just saw a video from um, Busby and what she talked about watching it I don't like that main actor though. I don't like him. Maybe I'll have to get over it so I can see it. Cause I heard it's really good. I tried to get into the Real Housewives of Potomac again. I'm kind of behind. I am not gonna be able to handle Candace and her mama. That controlling, I kind of talked about this in my vlog. I think I did. Candace is one of the young women who's on the show. She got married on the show, right? She's walking down the aisle. Her stepfather and her father walks her down the aisle and up at the front is her mama. Her mama's up there with her too. Like really, can we stick to the, I, I get the stepfather and father, but why your mama gotta be involved? The mama is too much and she's a psychiatrist. She should know better. She's just too much. Giselle is too much. Karen is too, Karen is too much. Although I like the way Ken, Karen is looking this year. Um, what is her name that's pregnant? Is she pregnant again? Has she been pregnant all this time? Monique, y'all Monique. 
Monique is one of those pregnant women who is absolutely, I think she looks better when she's pregnant. Maybe it's because she has a little bit more weight on her. She is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I mean, I always thought she was a pretty woman, but she is beautiful with that belly and that extra weight. She is stunning to me. Um, yeah, I just can't, I don't know. I need to watch it to see what's going on, but mm -mm. So y'all, as far as hair related videos are going, I have about, I would say six to eight more hair related videos coming up. I have a couple collaborations in the works with some of your favorite and my favorite YouTubers, which will probably come up either at the end of the summer or later on in the year. And after that, y'all, I really wanna focus on my hair cause I'm over it. I know I keep saying this, but I'm kinda over my hair. Um. I do have a rice water journey coming up, and yes, I do know that Sendall did a very elaborate video on the dangers of rice water. Look, girl, there are not gonna be any microorganisms on your scalp pop locking and dropping. If you are afraid of that, you can either you can boil the rice water afterwards, but I have had great growth, and I feel like my hair overall is healthier since I've been using rice water. Um, and there are some other YouTube, look, everyone is different. I will say if that if you're a protein sensitive, I wouldn't use rice water, I really wouldn't. Um, but overall, I've, I've seen the benefits of using it, and so I'm, I'm excited to share that journey. Um, I think I'm gonna do it in mid-July, yeah, mid-July. Um, my hair is definitely growing, y'all can see that, I don't have to say it. It's definitely growing, and it feels great, so yeah. But can we talk about this pre-poo? Maybe I need to do a separate video. Let me know. Ooh. You scared me. Did you see the new, Did you see that in Fort Worth, a child was abducted in plain sight with her mama, eight-year-old? Did y'all hear about that? Did you hear this? They're saying it now. A little girl in Fort Worth was walking with her mom. A man in a truck grabbed her and drove off. Hours later, they found him and her, him the truck at a uh, hotel, eight years old. 50 year old man, y'all let me know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, but so I, before I got sidetracked on that, let me know if you want me to do a video on this cause look at this pre-poo. Now I will say this is very similar to nappy headed jojobas detangler. Look at that. All right y'all, so I'm rambling at this point. This is a very, very quick chit chat. So thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.